Oh, no, we're going on the radio. Okay. We're gonna, I mean, we can talk about how old <laughs> we're all getting and how old I am. I think I've told the story on the show like a hundred times, though, about picking up my daughter from the daycare and being like, oh, my goodness, I'm an old man. So uh, we don't need to make anyone cry. We just talk about Fargo favorites. This is everybody's favorite segment, Fargo favorites. We've got Zoe Absey, who's running for the Park Board Commissioner. Hello, Zoe. Hello. So we are going to, this is the real deep dive. This is the original idea for the show. I don't, okay. um, I was going to do guerrilla podcasting. So I was going to just like sneak up on people and then be like, oh, yes. you're on the Fargo five. What's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that was the whole idea. Um, I might still do that someday. I don't know. I that, that's my retirement plan. Right. Yeah. Right. Like just catch, catch running downtown, just catch people unawares. Mm-hmm. And they'd be like, what? I don't know. Who are, are you? you? Leave me alone. Why are you wearing a tie? <laughs> Yeah, this was my wife's joke. I, <laughs> it, um, I'm very warm in it, though. Um, okay, so I want you to, let's get into it here. Um, I want you to imagine you're going out to eat. Okay. It's not like an anniversary or a birthday, or it's not like, oh, we finally won the election, celebration night. Nothing like that. This is more like just, I don't want to cook. I'm going out to eat. So this could be like tonight. Yeah. Where are you going out to eat? Ty Coda. Ty Coda, right yeah. next door. Yeah. Okay, and what are you ordering? The Drunken Mama. With Drunken tofu. Mama. What is that? I don't even. I always get Pad Thai because I'm very boring. Oh my so gosh. I, Do the Drunken Mama. It's yeah. like Pad Thai. It? I'm not. Does it have like a it. nut flavor? Nutty flavor? That's what I like no, about Pad Thai. Pad it's Thai is spicy. like a. I like spicy. Okay. It's ramen noodles, so it's like the curly Q noodles. Okay. It has it has egg, it has like tomato actually, and different veggies, but it's so good. That sounds good. I and so uh, what a mistake uh, asking about food right before lunch. I know. I okay. yeah. I, I always do pan Thai. I I only had Thai food like the first time in my entire life, like five years ago. Okay. I, I like, but like hey. pad Thai is fine for me. I I had their uh, curry, which mm-hmm. I don't think it's fair to call Thai curry curry. It's just really wet, right? It's really soupy. Yeah. Like when I think of curry, like I've had English curry, Indian curry, Nepali curry, Japanese curry. These are all like thick. You know, yeah. goopy, you More know. More of like a stew. Or, almost, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even thicker than a stew, though, right? Yeah. Whereas the Thai curry was just like really thin. Was it where I had it or that's how Thai curry is? That's how I've had it. Yeah. And then you put your rice in it. Sure. Just, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. I'm so hungry. Yeah, so delicious. I want some Thai. I've, I uh, stopped counting calories uh, since I have a newborn. I got a five-week-old yeah. at home. Aww. I've stopped counting calories. And I have put on, I'm not even getting 15 pounds. My belt doesn't even fit anymore. <laughs> it's um, terrible. But I uh, still am not going to go back quite yet. So Thai. Thai's gotta happening soon. Got to yeah. do it and before I got to go back on the diet. <laughs> um, okay, so you're a politician, which means you got to meet with people all the time, right? Like, yeah, lots one on one. Well, and having those coffees, or you know, mm-hmm. sometimes you go out for perhaps an alcoholic beverage. Uh, uh, wherever is your preferred place, you're gonna go out and meet somebody just to have like a one on one, face to face for like an hour. What's your favorite meeting place in town? Where's your go to? I would say Moonrise Cafe. Moonrise Cafe downtown. That's yes. so. I get the same of a lot of. I, I get the the same answers uh, often from people, especially on the meeting place. Um, I don't know that I've heard that one. Tell me, yes. tell me all about them. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's in the old Moxie Java, so below the Spirit Room. Okay. Um, it's right on Broadway. Oh, in Moorhead? Nope, in Fargo. Um, by Wait, Moxie Java, Atomic Coffee. No, where was Moxie Java? The Moxie Java used to be by like T Berry over there, and then it was Third Drop. I have no idea where this is. Can you tell me the address? <laughs> I think it's like 111 Broadway is or something. Is it really? Okay. So it's on Broadway. It's yes, on the street. Right on it's Broadway. north of Maine or south of Maine? Uh, north of Maine. Just north of Maine. Okay. It's across from where, bo- like the Black Building. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. 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 And Definitely it's downstairs? Go. Well, it's main level. Main level. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what was the name again? Uh, Moonrise Cafe. What do you get when you go there? Oh my gosh, they have a lot of different fun lattes that oh, they sure, you're one of those. curate. Uh, but I usually, honestly, do black coffee. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. A black t- coffee drinker. I, I used to not be, uh, and then when I, actually living in Japan is what, because um, they don't uh, make coffee. Unless you go to Starbucks. And so, like, the best you can do is just, like, get hot water. Unless you're getting a canned coffee, which is often all that is available is black as well. Or, like, like, like cafe. Yeah. Yeah. They do a lot of the, like, at home. If you're at home, if you're not walking out to a 
get a canned coffee from a convenience store or something, like, yeah, all they have at home is, and they don't drink a lot of dairy. So you don't yeah. even have milk. Like, you're just drinking a black or you're going out of the house. So if you're Saturday morning, like, you're just no drinking that. And they don't, they don't use, like, the, even the drip. They don't do that. That was, that was like, the biggest oh. culture shock to me because it's all that they have is the freeze dried stuff. Okay. And, uh, yeah, not a big fan of it. Um, okay. So tonight you're going to cook, actually. You're mm. not, you are not going out to eat. You're eating at home. The food had to come from somewhere. Yeah. Where'd it come from? What's your, what's your, what's your, gro- I, I used to ask what's your favorite grocery store, but I think what I really want to ask, because I don't think anybody goes to one grocery store. No. What's your grocery store strategy? What's your, <laughs> what's your overall game plan? You must have some kind of a, or, or, or not. I mean, I think, I think more people have a strategy than they don't. Do you just go wherever is closest to you? Or do you have like, a, well, for this, that, and the other, I go here first. And then if they don't have it, I go there and there and there. Yeah. Like, what do you, where do your groceries come from? So I live in Unicorn Park, uh, kind of by Brujala. And so I go to the family fair on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The just what I, that's because that's three blocks it's away from right me. there. I want to support our. Neighborhood sure. <laughs> grocery store because if it were ever to leave, yeah, that would be a food that's, desert. That's true. Okay. Uh, and not, I am one person. I'm not saying that I can no, keep it hey. going, but I like to go there and just like it's my neighborhood grocery store. Your your dollars are perhaps one of the most important, actually impactful votes that you can make. Voting at the ballot yeah. box is 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 one thing, but it's kind of winner takes all. Yeah. But when you have money to spend. That is a vote that makes a difference whether they're the winner or not. Every yeah. every vote truly does count when you go spend. So That's I like spending point. local. I like spending. I like supporting small businesses and 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 giving them my money when I can. So that's a fair fair answer. Speaking of giving money to your favorite businesses, Fargo is renowned for its its uh, entrepreneurship. I I mean I think yeah. Fargo probably the whole metro area probably has uh, the fewest number of people with jobs uh, in probably the whole 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 place. Not uh, uh, that is to say we're self employed or or entrepreneurial. Yeah. Uh, what would be your favorite small business in the area? Ah, uh, so this is a selfish plug, but Blackbird Woodfire would be my yeah, favorite local okay. business. Yeah. And what's your well? You say selfish. What's your connection it, to Blackbird? Yeah, uh, my family. Oh. Uh, Owns it, runs it. Oh, yeah, so. that was not clear to me. Uh huh. You and I, we got a lot of overlap, actually. <laughs> so because I, my wife is a bookkeeper. Okay. And we may have caused a little bit of a hunter for you. Um, we started that uh, by putting together the pieces of some other companies, and we said, you know, the bookkeeping is actually what we're really good at. And we started doing bookkeeping for other people, okay. but we named it after the Beatles song. Blackbird, because oh, we were putting together pieces to yeah. make a new to fly, and I, I didn't even that. think of 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 your family's business. So I'm sorry that we've had been kind of fighting on the mm. on the because my her Facebook is like Blackbird Fargo, or I think Blackbird Fargo is your Facebook. I'm not yeah. sure. We had to fight over that. I had to get, do a whole thing because when I did the Google listing, they were like, are you a pizza place? I was like, no, I'm not the pizza place. Leave me alone. Oh, we're bookkeepers. No. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, so that's us. So, okay, yeah. I'll have to ask my dad. So, yeah, so I apologize <laughs> on our behalf. I We meant well. Yes, we, I love we the meant name. Well. Where did, did the name, is it based off the Beatles song for y'all? Yep, yes. Very, uh, my... Yeah, very uh, Beatles. We love the Beatles. I love pizza. Yeah, and we love pizza. I'm going to have to come get a Blackbird pizza sometimes. I love pizza. Yeah, and we're at the Bird, so not too far either. At Brujala. At Brujala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Bird is what it's called out there. Yeah, I love Brujala too. God. Yeah. Once I I get rid of that kid, that newborn. (laughs) (laughs) Get him to daycare. Daycare starts. Okay. Daycare starts in like nine days. And then, and then. Then we can take More a couple freedom. days off and just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question, and then we can get out of here. Are you ready? It's been a whole hour. Can you believe it? Crazy. It, it Went goes so fast. Um, it's a day off. You're not door knocking. You're not mm. working. You're not, you know, doing something to advance your career or anything. You're just filling your cup, relaxing, having a good time for Zoe. What do you do? What's your favorite thing to do on a day off? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think my favorite thing to do would be like waking up when my body's ready to wake up <laughs> yeah. and yeah. working out and just just being, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. living in that 
world of like balance of like I'm doing some fun things for yes. myself like reading, going yes. on a walk, playing wow. pickleball. Yes. But then also like I'm gonna paint a cupboard or uh-huh. do something crafty. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think like being in my house and like not having to leave or yeah. talk to people yeah. and like not just having do to follow any agenda yeah. at all. Just like the- I'm not planning. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z because then hello, that's a job almost, yeah. right? Yeah. Just like planting. I would uh, being in the garden would be ideal, I guess. If that's where you end up. Yeah, true. It could be or maybe a not. great meal from Family Fair. You know, who see, knows? See, I do that, but it's always ordering a pizza and watching movies, which is fine. Oh, which is it. fine. Like, that's what it ends up being. Yeah. But it's not planned. That. It's not planned. <laughs> it's it just a- happens. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the show. Well, what do you great. think? Very quick. I want you to plug yourself, and then we will get out of here. Yeah. Uh, I'm Zoe Apsey. I'm running for Fargo Park, um, Park Board Commission and would love your vote on June 11th. Fantastic. And of course, I am Conrad Fargo. You can find me anywhere that you are in front of a a browser of any kind. You just type in Conrad Fargo. You'll find me. I've got the whole SEO on lockdown. You know, I'm for sale on Amazon. Really? If you go to Amazon.com, I'm not even kidding. Have you tried this yet? You just go to Amazon.com. You type in Conrad Fargo and you can buy me. I'm right there. So give it a try. Wow. Whatever you have open right now, just type in Conrad Fargo. And if you don't see me there, um, I did something wrong, so let me know. Because <laughs> I'm counting I'm counting on you to tell me. I'm counting on you to tell me that I'm, I'm not there. We're going to get out of here. We're listening to uh, Saturday in the Park by Chicago. Uh, that was your choice, obviously, because you're running for Park Board, yeah, right? I, mean, I have I, to make it you, relate. I mean, do you want to tell me more about how you chose that song? Or uh, You know, opened it up to a few people asking, and my dad said, Saturday in the Park, like right off the bat and I was like love it well shout big shout out to dad here we go getting out of here with Saturday in the park we'll catch you next week goodbye